This is a neat car. 71,000 miles, 1988 Mustang GT convertible. Best part about it, it's got the five speed, ton of fun to drive. Let's check it out. <laughs> these are so much fun. This is my era kind of car, Big D. I mean, these are the kind of cars that I drove when I was in school, 19, you know, graduated in 1995. Brakes work perfect. This was like my, I mean, I couldn't afford it. I drove an 86, 87 Ford Tempo, not an 88 GT, but this is the car I wanted. But uh, I only had 1,600 bucks, so the only thing I could buy was the uh, Ford the Tempo. Yeah. But I made the best of it, and that was a five-speed too. Yeah, this is so much fun having that five-speed. These cars are awesome in general, but when you can go through the gears like that, nothing better. These things handle so tight. They're just a fun, fun car. Ford did it right with these ones. Nothing to just like that. 71 mile an hour and 71,000 actual miles, big deal. Meant to be. So the kind of thing is, the cool thing about these, this, these are the cars that were on TV, the rappers drove them in movies, Boys in the Hood, all that yep. kind of cool shit. You know, so that's what all of us wanted. So I know these have a huge following right now because people are my age, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9 that uh, they always wanted one of these two when they were a kid and they couldn't afford it. And they're a classic car now too, but they have kind of that more modern feel where you can jump in and you can drive this thing, you know, 200 miles on a weekend if you want and have a lot of fun with it still. So. Yeah, neat car. Uh, let's get back and uh, walk around a little bit, all right? like this 1988 Mustang GT convertible. Just a well taken care of, very original car. 71,000 miles. Love the tail lights in these. Door buzzer works. We're going to point this out right away. Um, Power window switches wasn't working all on this one, so we took this out, ordered a brand new one. So it just doesn't need it. So we'll put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Tim buffed this out. It turned out great. I mean, an older couple had this for a long time. They just cruised with it, had fun with it. Um, but the paint had really oxidized. Some of it could be original paint still, um, but it buffed out really good. It's got a good shine on it. I don't yeah, want to say it was original thing. I would say so too. I mean, it's just got typical like little chips and things like that. It's always hard to, it's hard to say that exactly. You know what I mean? I don't want anyone to hold me to it, but. Definitely original under the hood. Very original. Oh, we put a new battery, or it doesn't have a new battery, but I guess 619, but. Um, air conditioning will blow cold on it as well. Just a cool car. It runs awesome, doesn't it? Oh, it runs no great. No exhaust leak, nothing like that. It's like Chad mentioned either older or original paint. I'm guessing original paint, because you can see bare metal right underneath some of these chips, but just got some, you know, little chips as you go around it, scuffs, typical things like that that a 40-year-old car would have, but got a great look. And really clean, I'd say. It's beautiful. What's cool about it is it's just not been jacked with. It's got some little dents in the door there, little door yep. dings. I'll just let you do the video, D. A couple little door dings here. Like you said, it wasn't like this was teenage owned and, and no, beat on. It's a survivor. You know what I mean? For those 71,000 miles, it seems like this thing was just babied. Yeah. You know, as clean as the interior is and exterior. Um, it's a good yeah, the car. The back seat's got a little stain in the back. Um, I don't know if it'll shampoo out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just it just shows a little discolored. I you like know what? I don't know. Color. It might be because it's just original. It's even here. You know, Jay cleans them all, but um, it's not ripped or torn or anything. Original seats recline. They're I think they got power too. Mm -hmm. Probably lumbar. Lumbar. Yeah. I guess. Dash is really clean. A lot of times you'll see all this plastic and, and shit just cracked up. Not this one. Um, really. Air clean conditioning nice. works. Um, we need to put a little charge to it, and we will. Windshield's clear. Yep. Yeah. Power top works great. Yep, glass back window, top's in good shape as well. So just gonna have your typical 
small chips, but and a little yellow beast because yep. this is original paint here. See how it scuffs out a little bit? Yep. Right? Yeah, it, I'm guessing it's all original. What it looks to me, tell it. I can't good. believe how it buffed out. It did not look like this uh -oh. when that when that couple brought it in here. I, I had to see through the. I don't want to say the grunge, but you know, just the, mm -hmm. they've never buffed it. Yeah, Timmy. Timmy did a good job on it. <laughs> These are so fun to drive too, they handle well. It's just a neat classic. Something you can, like you said on our, our test drive, you can jump in and enjoy it and and uh, you know you're gonna get to where you're going, you know? Door panels are really nice too. Now look at the corners of the doors. So I mean, it's rust free. You got pictures of the undercarriage of this, didn't you? Jason had you do it, I'm pretty sure. Somebody did. Yeah. yeah. Head door jams are nice. Cool car. <laughs> It's a great car. I like it. Check it out on the site, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put a link down in the comment section of the video if you're watching on YouTube. Um, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.